So, morning. A lot of you, I was asking why I don't uh, focus on reviews. And here's my top four reasons why I, Bevan Finley, do not um, focus on reviews and why I am not pressed to push out reviews after reviews anymore. So, I've Four reasons, you know, my top four reasons why I don't um, focus on reviews. And the first one is most brands would rather pay um, me to review a product than to sponsor an event. And um, I'm like, I don't do any reviews anymore. So brands was like, well, we'll pay you for your time. I'm like, that defeats the purpose if you have to pay me for a review. Because if you pay me for a review, what happens? is that I'm forced to give you a good review because you paid me. So let's say I um, brought me $500 for a review and I'm not pushing a review out in a timely manner that they want. They'll get mad and post that, hey, Bevan is um, taking his time doing reviews. I paid him for these reviews. Now what happens if I, uh, I do a negative review? Then I'm also in a position where a brand feel like they paid me for a review and I'm giving them a negative review. You see, so you have to understand that there's no win-win when it comes for this and most of the reviews that you see online are paid. Not all of them, but the majority of them are paid reviews. And you know, that's fine if that's what you, your brand is want to be about and this is somebody who wants to push reviews, that is fine. But for me, I do not want to do that. And I'd rather stay neutral and help the community. The second thing about um, why I don't really focus on reviews is that most of the oil that you see right now are all the same. You know, the same full spectrum oil. Um, there's nothing special about the oils. You know, um, not to say that's a bad thing, but there's nothing special. So, um, what are you doing to be different? You know, that's what you have to worry about as a brand. What are you doing to be different from everybody else instead of trying to focus so much on reviews? Thirdly, reviews are very time consuming. Uh, when I first started this three years ago, I was just doing reviews after reviews after reviews. And it takes weeks. Um, if you look at the current situation with the, with the market and reviews, most people are pushing their reviews every couple of days. It's kind of impossible. If you're taking an oil, you should at least try it for at least three weeks to a month. And then after that, it's taking the notes, you know, the time it takes to write all the information, um, the time it takes to research to make sure that this product is legit. And for me, it was just way too time consuming when I'm pushing out these reviews and the only people that really benefit in the long run is the, the brands because it's all they care about. Um, I still can't pay my bills because I'm focused on reviews. And those of you who know me, um, it's just, I wanna be neutral, always. And lastly, I'm building our education platform to help the community. This is the way um, I see my future. And this is what I've been doing for over a year and a half now. It's continuing to educate people on um, CBD and the many benefits and um, the do's and don'ts because at the end of the day education wins so if you want to support us and you want to support in return then help us continue to build our education platform to help consumers that you surely need and um, you can sponsor our classes that we have in our education platform um, you can sponsor our events you know instead of Telling Bevan, hey, here's five hundred dollars to review my product. We need to say, hey, Bevan, here's five hundred dollars to sponsor your event. Because in return, you show the community that you're supporting us, and the events and everything we do, it's it, you know, that money goes towards um, the time and effort it takes for us to continue to um, help the community. So those are my reasons why I do not really uh, focus on reviews. I, I try products. You know, and I tell you know the brands, you know what I think about it. I also let the community know by doing stories. And sometimes I post it as a um, as a post. 
but I'm not going to be pushed to do a review that I feel is not in my good interest, especially when there's thousands of thousands of thousands of brands on the market right now. Um, and as a brand, you have to look at it as there's more of you than there are me. And um, it's a hard truth, but I'm not going to change where I am for nobody. And that's, that's it. So I appreciate you always. Um, I love you in the community. I'm sure it is Kiernan. Health is wealth, knowledge is power, and this will always be your safe space. Always, always, always. Hey, so I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support. Those of you who've been supporting us for always, we just want to say that our nonprofit is a 501c3 by the IRS. So thank you for those of you who've been supporting our nonprofit, B Plant. You can go to www.bplant.org to donate. It's tax deductible. And it's for a good cause. Those of you who have been buying our shirts, um, you go to bplan.org and hit the shop button. is the easiest way. Or go to the, any of the links in our profiles to buy our shirt. And um, if a shirt costs $18, please be mindful that that $18 does not come to our nonprofit. Only a percentage of it. So for, by $18, I think it's 4 or $5 um, for per shirt goes to our nonprofit. And lastly... We have so much information on the website. So if you go to www.cbd.hub, you can see anything from click on the library to see uh, the thousands of studies that's there on CBD that we use as reference to our educational post. We have events on there. So our next event is in Brooklyn. Um, and just read our blog, see what we, you know, all the good information that we've been putting out for the last three years. We appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.